I'm so impressed with these magnetic drain plugs. <laughs> you, you know, there's magnetic drain plugs and then there are ma magnetic drain plugs. But from this, this company that makes these has probably the strongest magnets I've ever seen in the world. Look at this. I'm going to bring in here a three pound hammer. Okay. Now watch this. This little magnet is going to clomp onto that three pound hammer and it's going to lift it right off my bench. Can you believe that? Three pounds. And, it, and I can't even, sh oh yes, okay, if I shake hard, hard enough, I can get that off. But I tell you, I'm, I'm starting to use uh, these magnetic drain plugs now in the rear ends, in the oil pans, and in the transmission pan. And we're so impressed with, with these particular plugs. They're custom made, they do fit Mercedes, that uh, I'm going to start carrying them on my website. I want to show you, this is kind of another another sample here this is the the drain plug for the diesels for the you know like the uh, 616 617 diesels that are real common and I recommend if you diesel owners are watching this that you pick up one of these magnetic drain plugs and put in your diesel all metallic particles floating around in your pan in the bottom of the oil are gonna stick to this let me tell me now watch this try to pick up a three pound hammer and this is really a small magnet okay look at that Okay, it's straining. There it goes. Three pounds. <laughs> maybe, maybe two and a half, okay? But can you, can you believe the strength of these magnets? So, if you've watched uh, one of my other videos on the 280SL, uh, I, sh I talked about putting this plug in the rear end because there are no filters of any type in the rear differential. So any, any metal particles that that are flying around in that rear end fluid are going to come and stick to this. Once again, I'll show you a little bit later. If you haven't seen any of my previous videos, these are super, and I mean super strong magnets. But I want to show you these four. These, they're called black hole magnets. And they, they're designed for a couple of different applications. But these things are amazing. Look, look at the amount of strength they have. Look at it lift this other magnet right off the table. See that? Can you believe that? Look at the strength. You know, it's almost a half inch away. And of course, if you get it too close, they're going to stick together. And you can hardly, hardly take them apart. And, and uh, you know, and you flip them over like this and watch it, watch it. Oh, oh there it goes. It's going to jump right up on top of the other one. You can also get it to, to move away like that. See that? Push it away. So, these are, these are small, but uh, once again, I'm going to bring in the, the three-pound hammer, and look at this. This will pick up the hammer, and I can't even get this off. I can literally not get this off the hammer without sliding it off the side. So where are these used? They're used... They can be used in a couple different applications. One, they can be used on filters. It could either be a fuel filter or an oil filter, but it has to be a steel filter. You know, if you look at this, this old uh, aluminum filter housing off the 6.3, of course, it's aluminum, and, and these magnets aren't going to stick to that. But any other type of filter with a steel housing, you can put the magnets around the filter like this, you could even put one on the bottom, and there you have a super strong, <laughs> oh, come on, you got to be careful working around these things. You'll have a super strong magnetic pickup field inside the filter. So any, once again, any larger metallic particles that are floating around in there are going are gonna to attach right to the side, right to the side of the filter, and when you take the filter off, of course, you, you just pull these off and throw the the, throw the filter away. Let me tell you, these, these are not going to come off while you're driving this. I've already put these on a couple of my transmissions. Uh, what you can do is just put these, you, you don't need to put them inside the transmission. You could just take the four of them and put them on the bottom, on the outside bottom pan. And of course, any, once again, they have to be ferrous metal. You go to pull the pan off, you know, during, the, during your service, you're going to be kind of amazed at what is stuck just opposite the magnet on the inside of the pan. Now, this longer one is for a lot of the engines from about 1986 right up into the late 90s. So this would be in the, 
in the OM uh, 60X diesel engines, the, the 300Es, uh, you know, and all those gas engines that use this longer type of uh, pan plug. So I, I, uh, I'm, a, I'm real sold on magnetic therapy, okay, and I would highly recommend you consider this for your own older car. And if you're interested in the, any of these and want to learn more about them and possibly order them, just follow the links and the show more description below and it'll take you right to these products.